This video is about this violin. This violin here, this red violin. Uh, I bought this about three weeks ago on eBay. I keyed in the word Scottish violin, which I do from time to time, and there was one made in Garmouth. And I know Garmouth very well. I have family connections up there. I've been there often. I was there actually not so very long ago. So I was interested, and I bought it just to see. And um, then I took it along to my friend Caroline Campbell, who's a professional violin maker and an extremely expert one, to ask if she could maybe set it up properly, because it might have needed a new bridge or new pegs or something, new soundpost. So she did that, but before she gave it back to me, she emailed me to say, this is not just an ordinary amateur violin, this is really rather a good one. So I was very pleased about that, and I got it back, and it proved that, uh, having played it, I know she's, she's absolutely right. So who made it? Well, inside there's a little label, A. Robertson, One Church Road, Garmouth, by Fochabers. Anyway, um, I made some inquiries to find out who perhaps A. Robertson might be, and I found out that his name was Sandy Robertson, and that he was uh, a long-established resident in the town, small town, nice small town at the mouth of the Spey, and that he was known for his skill in making objects out of wood, for example, nice fruit bowls and things like that. And obviously he made violins as well. I don't know how many he made, I don't know when this one was made, but I suppose it might be 15 or 20 years old. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I thought I would showcase it and play some tunes on it, because it's nice to listen to. The first tune, I hope, is an appropriate one. It was written by Willie McPherson, who re-established the Elgin Real and Space Society. Elgin is not far from Garmouth. And uh, the tune is called The Colburn. Willie was a great player. He, he, he was in the, the Scottish National Orchestra for 10 years, one of the first violins. Uh, and he wrote this nice tune and lots of others. And the, the Colburn, I believe, is a stream which runs in or through Rothes. So here we have The Colburn by Willie McPherson, played on a violin by Sandy Robertson of Garmouth. play another tune, another Scots tune, a much older one, an 18th century tune by Neil Gow, a famous fiddle composer who lived um, in Inver near Burnham and who was the Duke of Athol's uh, fiddler, paid five pounds a year to do that work. Uh, and this tune is the lament for James Murray of Abercairney. Neil Gow's tune on Sandy Robertson's fiddle.
Right, finally, just to show that um, Sandy Robertson's fiddle doesn't just play Scots tunes, well, actually, it's a Scots tune of a kind. This is a movement from a sonata by General John Reed, who lived from, when was it, 1722 to 1807. He was a distinguished military man, but he also was a composer. And he wrote a sonata in G for violin and keyboard. Now, it so happens that I have a, a CD with the keyboard accompaniment on it, so I can play the second movement, the allegro from the sonata, on this nice fiddle. I'll need to put the CD player on and then we'll go for it. the CD player so the next bit doesn't start. Anyway, Sandy Robertson's fiddle, a good fiddle. I'm delighted to be able to play it.